Hey, what's up everyone? So it's time for another collection update video. Now I know I just did one of these back in March, but today, June 7th, marks the three year anniversary of me collecting the Black Series. I started in 2020, my first figure was the Imperial Probe Droid, and things just took off. So I just wanna run through the collection again. I've added, let's see, I've added about 13 figures since March. So the collection has grown a little bit and I'll point those out, but I also wanna take a moment just to thank everyone for the support over the last three years of me doing this. It has been so much fun and I've gotten to know a lot of just wonderful people in this community, such a fun community. So thank you all so much. So with all that out of the way, let's get started. I know I've said this before and I hate repeating myself, but I just wanna let y'all know, just in case there's any new faces here, the collection starts in this closet, starts up top with the Old Republic, it goes down to A New Hope and then jumps over here to those shelves, starting with Empire and ending with the sequel trilogy. So starting up in the top left corner here, we have both versions of Revan and Zalbar. Got a space there reserved for Darth Malak and Bastilla Shan. And then when Darth Malgus arrives, I will have to put him after Nihilus as far as timeline. So that'll be the Old Republic section there. So the Prentice Maul, amazing figure. It's my knockoff Maul in the back. And now getting into prequels, Clone Wars, Attack of the Clones, whatnot. Um, Jar Jar, say what you will about the character, but you cannot deny the figure's pretty amazing. Qui-Gon, Battle Droids, the Clone Lieutenant, Walmart exclusive Mace, love that figure. I love the Red Arc Trooper. So the Phase 1 clones there, one of those, I think it's the one in the back, I found it Ross for $4.99. It's a deal. Some Jedi, Padme. So I opened up Yoda's robe to give him a more prequel look. Ayla Secura, fantastic figure. Mace, Dooku, and Ventress. And that rounds out the top shelf. So the next shelf starts with Aura Singh and Cad Bane. The Target Wave, I was fortunate to find all four in the same trip. <laughs> I was, yeah, I felt pretty lucky. That is probably my favorite Obi-Wan. Echo's great. I'm looking forward to fives. I have Jesse on order, even though he doesn't look quite right. It'll be nice to have three art troopers there. Umber Operative looks fantastic. Some more clones. That is the Hascon exclusive Rex. Got clone commanders in the back. I still lack Fox. I'm hoping one day he will get an archive release. We'll see. Those are my commanders in the back. Some more clones. Ahsoka with her two, and the Loyalist and the Super Commando I have back there in the back. Clone Wars Maul, great figure. Shrunken headed Obi Wan, yeah, he's there. Anakin was a gift. I know you're watching. Thank you again. That Kit Bash in the back was also a gift, and you're probably watching as well. So thanks for that. Pretty cool figure. And then getting into Bad Batch. Rex I have you know, with the poncho look. It's kind of scene specific, but it works. And then the main crew got Imperial Crosshair and a couple of his elite squad troopers in the back. Rampart with an officer and a grunt as far as the shock troopers. And then rounding out that shelf with Cad Bane Raka. The next shelf down starts with Jedi Fallen Order, the 13th Battalion. The Deluxe Cow, got a couple of Knight Brothers in the back on that little styrofoam stand that I made and painted it to make it look like something from Dathomir. Yeah, those are cool figures back there. Scout Trooper with the Shock Baton, cool figure. The Rocket Launcher Trooper, yep, his hand is on the grip, finger on the trigger, just like it should be. It's very tricky, but it can be done. That's a cool figure. A couple of Purge Troopers in the back, and of course, Second Sister. That was one of the first figures I ever bought right there. Yeah. And then Jedi Survivor. I just have the Riot Scout and that Cal. And this Cal is new. I didn't have him in the last video. Awesome figure, of course, BD. And if you wanted to, uh, right there on the yellow, that little shoulder pad, you could slip BD's foot under that thing if you absolutely have to have him on his back. He doesn't stay all that well, but it does work. I did show that in my uh, cow review. You can slip BD's foot right under there. That's a great figure right there. 
and then getting into Solo. Love the Patrol Trooper. Got a couple of Mimbin Hans. So the one in the back has a broken elbow and Dork Side. Good old Dork Side sent me another one free of charge, no questions asked. They just told me to keep the old one. So I have that one in the back in full gear and, and then unmasked up front. Yeah, the Solo figures are just incredible. I still lack the Memban Stormtrooper, you know, the real dirty Stormtrooper. That one's hard to find. And L3. And I'm, I, I really have no interest in getting L3 unless it's dirt cheap. But yeah, the Solo line is just great. And then getting into Kenobi. And say what you will about the show. But the figures do look good. Figures look great. I should be getting Jabim Obi-Wan next month, I think. Um, the Purge Troopers look fantastic. It's a nice Vader. Yeah, so that's Kenobi, and that ends that shelf. And now we have Rebels on the next shelf down. So this was my first full wave of figures that I purchased. Got all seven at one time. Love this crew. Big fan of Rebels. I think they all look fantastic. And of course, I got the Target exclusive Hondo back there with them. And of course, Thrawn. Yeah, that's a great, great set there. And then moving into Andor, so I did not have Luthan in the last video. Great figure. Bix is new and Mon Mothma is new. They look fantastic. I mean, they, especially Bix. Bix is a nice looking figure. Can't really do much with it, but I do love the look of it. Of course, that is the two pack of Cassian and B. I got that on sale. That was the only way I was going to ever purchase those two. Uh, and then Mon Mothma. It's a nice looking figure. You just can't really do much with it. She is basically a statue. It is all plastic. There is no cloth anywhere on her. She is trapped in that dress, but it is a great looking figure. It's a nice face, the outfit. I like it for what it is. It's fine. And then the shore trooper and the Ferrex officer. So that is the Andor section there. And then moving into Rogue One. So I got the updated Jen and Cassian up front. The old Jen and Cassian in the back, and of course, Edu Cassian is also in the back. And Kay is on a stand, because he absolutely will not stand up. And then Saw, the last time I was at Ollie's, they had six cases of Saw Guerrera. It's a great figure. I mean, if you don't have Saw, pop into Ollie's if you have an Ollie's near you. They are... Um, they're discounting them big time, but yeah, it's a fantastic looking figure. Just phenomenal detail. And of course, Bodhi. The too short Antok. Yeah, he's way too small. Jarrett Faze and all the Imperials from Rogue One. Love the Jetta Patrol Trooper. I'd stuck the Target exclusive Mountain Trooper over here just because of the helmet design. And when I put the other cape from my second Mimbin Han on him, so I think he looks pretty cool with that cape on. Yeah, I got some Imperials there. And that rounds out that shelf. The next shelf down is A New Hope, and I put George right up front since he started everything, and then 3PO and R2. You know, 3PO is the first voice that we hear, and then we see the Rebel Soldiers. So, yeah, those look good. And that is the Bandai Model Kit R2 that I just recently weathered. That is a fantastic kit. I absolutely love this kit. It is so much fun to build and putting a wash on it just really helped bring out all that detail. He's properly scaled. Yeah, that is an excellent model kit. Got some random troopers in the back. I found all those at GameStop. That's the Legacy Vader, the red and black box Tarkin, then Death Star Trooper. Very cool figure. Stormtrooper in the back. That is the one that comes with all the blast accessories. Now, the Sand Trooper. If you do not have this figure, do your best to try to find this figure. This, this trooper is pretty incredible. I found this one on eBay. I won an auction, and after price, tax, and shipping, it was under $30. It was a tremendous deal. Could not pass it up. And it is real. It is not a knockoff, and I could not be more happy with this figure. The weathering is just top-notch. The weapons, the backpack is just incredible. Um, it is a phenomenal figure. Very happy to have that one. We got the Cantina. The bar was a gift. And if you're watching, thanks for the bar. I love it. And of course, those three. And I got the modal nodes in the back on a little stage that I just recently 
built out of styrofoam and painted it. And looking back, I wish I would have painted it the same color as the bar. I happen to have this brown paint on hand, so I went with it. But it's a little dark. I don't. It's not terrible though. At least they're elevated. I could always repaint it. But yeah, I love the modal nodes, and I went with seven, and they just look absolutely incredible with all their respective instruments. Yeah, very happy to have that whole crew. Greedo, Han, Peanut Headed Luke. It's a, not a good figure. I mean, I kind of needed it. You know, you have to have a farm boy Luke on the shelf, and I'm not paying the figure arts price, but yeah, that's that. Leia. So both of the Stormtrooper Disguise, Luke and Han, those were both gifts. And if you guys are watching, thank you so much. That's Troy, and I just have their helmets down there. X-Wing Luke. So that's the archive. And it looks like we're about to get another archive version of this Luke. I don't know why. I honestly do not know why. But it's a cool figure. That was one of the first figures I ever got. I'm happy to have it. And then Yavin Ceremony, I made that out of styrofoam and painted it. Some little steps. And I have the open mouth Chewy there since he howls at the end of A New Hope. Yeah, so that's that. And then comics, Leia, Creel, and Mike. And Mike is new. I did not have him in the last video. I love Mike. What an incredible looking trooper. Creel, and I think this is my favorite Leia, the comic Leia. It is a, just, it just looks wonderful. It's a good face. The outfit is great, even though it's, you know, got some reuse. It works. It works, but. Yeah, those three are pretty amazing. And then down here on the bottom, I've got the stand from the Legacy Vader. And I still have all this space down here. So as this closet grows, I have a whole another shelf. And now moving on to this bookshelf. So I've got Hoth in the back, and I made that little stand out of styrofoam and sprayed it with spray snow so it looks snowy. Uh, yeah, so I've got Luke and Han and Chewie in the back, and I painted Han's binoculars. They look so much better. Yeah, that turned out very well. Leia, the Hoth Rebel Trooper is one of the best figures ever. Love those. Got a couple of at, -AT drivers flanking Veers, and Veers is an incredible figure. And there's my first one back there in the back, the probe droid. That's what started everything. Love that one. And then Snow Trooper and Snow Speeder Luke rounds out the little Hoth stand there. And if I pan back, we have the Luke and Yoda set. Love that. Found that at Target, I think, for about 30 bucks. Yeah, that's a great set right there. The two small Dagobah R2 and then Dagobah Luke. Admiral Piet, nice looking figure, you know, for what it is. And then Bounty Hunters, I still lack Bosk and IG-88. But Dengar's cool, Proto Boba. Now, Droids Boba, I painted the Pulse Rifle to make it look like Holiday Special Boba. And I've got a video on that. It turned out okay. That funky salmon color, and I chromed some little bits, you know, like the, the tip of the pulse rifle I chromed and then added some more little chrome bits in there. Yeah, it's a nice looking figure for what it is. That is the 40th Boba. And then, of course, Forlom and Zuckus. Zuckus is a nicely detailed figure. That, that figure is pretty amazing. Jackson was a freebie, but it's a fun figure. And then Han and Chewie and Lando and 3PO. So that Chewie and 3PO, that is from the set, you know, where you can take 3PO apart and stick him on Chewie's back. As you see, I currently have him assembled just because it is such a nice looking 3PO. Yeah, love those. And TIE Pilot and then Vespa Luke and Empire Vader, the King Vader, my favorite Vader. Great figure. And the next shelf down, I've got the comic Dr. Aphra there in the back on that little stand I made out of styrofoam. Very happy to have a Dr. Afra. So that's new. I did not have her in the last video. Great looking figure. And then Gamgard. I may pick up a second one of those. That figure is just tremendous right there. That is the red and black box Skiffguard Lando. Okay, not the archive and not the 40th. That's the original. Bit Fortuna. And then Bush Leia. I have the thermal detonator sitting there with a piece of sticky tack so it doesn't roll out. Okay, pretty cool. And then Jedi Boba, of course, I think is one of the best figures that they've ever done. Love that one. That Force Spirit Yoda was a gift. Um, and then the Endor crew. 
and Wicket is new. I did not have Wicket in the last video, and Wicket is just awesome. Despite being little, it's an incredible figure, and I'm anxiously awaiting Paplu. I should get him this summer just to, you know, get some more Ewoks on the shelf. Yeah, there's Endor, and then, of course, Ewok Village Leia. Got her for 10 bucks. Yeah, It's not a bad figure for what it is. I would have never paid full price, but 10 bucks. Yeah, that's okay. And then good old Lando. If you don't have Lando, there's there's really no excuse. Uh, he's he's everywhere, and he's still everywhere. But I love this figure. It's a great Lando. Akbar, Scout Trooper. So the one on the right is the fortieth, and the one on the left is the Archive. Pretty close. I mean, the weathering's a little bit different, but I'm happy to have two Scouts. So I put a rifle in one and a little EC-17 in the other one, just to have a little variation. Love those troopers. And then Palps and two Royal Guards. I found both of those on eBay, 35 bucks for the pair. Could not pass it up. That is a deal and they just look just wonderful. That red just pops. Love those. And then we have Inferno Squad, the Rocket Trooper, and Kirkanos or Carno Jax, whichever one you want to use. And then Mara Jade is new. I did not have her in the last video. Love that figure. She poses so well. The face is nice. Yeah. That's a good one right there. So the next shelf down starts with the Mandalorian, and I have a little small group of credit collection in the back. So that Moff Gideon, I just recently found at Ollie's for eight bucks. I was not planning on getting that figure ever, but for eight bucks, could not pass it up. And fortunately, the dark saber actually shines a little more on that one. So it's nice to have an extra dark saber. Yeah, they they look okay. I mean, if you like the credit collection or not, you know, I just kind of get the ones I think look cool, or if they're super cheap, like that one. Uh, but yeah, those are my credit collection in the back. And then up front, we got Death Watch Mando. Love that figure. The client looks good. There's the original Mando. IG-11, and of course, Queel and Muddy Mando. I got that Muddy Mando set on sale. It's okay. It's okay for what it is. Jawa. Grief in the back, Armorer, Paz Vizsla, Zero. Now, Season 1 Migs is an awesome figure. Love that one. Got a couple of security droids in the back. Kara Beskar. Uh, that is the red and black box Grogu right there. So, Din Djarin from Morak I did not have in the previous video. It's okay, and I painted Miggs's right arm uh, to make him a little more screen accurate. And of course, left Den's red. So that's those two. Uh, Tuscan Raider, Magistrate Grief Karga. And then over here on the end, that is the Mando Ahsoka Grogu 3-pack. Got that on sale for $40, $43, I think. It's the only reason why I got that. I would have never paid full price, but the spear is cool. Of course, Grogu is sitting in this set. And I love the shiny armor. It's a little bit different from the regular Beskar. Yeah, this one's a lot more shiny. Yeah, so I do like that. And then regular Ahsoka. HK87 is new. I did not have him in the last video. And if you saw my review on him, you know he, he had a bad ankle. He's still standing. I used some Mod Podge on that ankle, and he has yet to fall over. So, yeah, that worked. And then the Maldo crease set in the back, and I painted the spider's eyes. That was required. Uh, they look so much better. And the snow application on Mando is very nice. And I made that little stand out of styrofoam and again, sprayed it with spray snow. Yeah, so that's, that's that shelf. And I almost forgot, for Mandalorian, I have the speeder bike, Scout Trooper, and Grogu set. I got this right when it came out for retail. Very cool set. It's just kind of big. You know, that, that's why I don't have it on the main shelf, but I do have it over here off to the side. And I do love this. And the next shelf down continues with the Mandalorian, starting with Trapper Wolf and the carbonized Scout Trooper. Bo, Axe, and Casca. Yeah, they look great. And, of course, some Troopers. Yeah, you can't go wrong with Troopers. The 2020 Stormtrooper is an incredible figure. Incinerator Trooper, even though the tank is upside down, still love the figure. And the Artillery Trooper is just awesome. Love that one. Moff Gideon, flanked by a couple of his Dark Troopers. Love the Dark Trooper. Tremendous figure. Just love them. So glossy. They just look ominous back there. 
So this Luke is new. I did not have him in the last video, and this is a great figure. If you can get that hood just right, it's a little fiddly, but it is a fun figure, super posable, and I think it looks great there. There's that Boba, the Jedi Ruins Boba, Finnick, and Throne Room Boba. And down here on the bottom shelf, we have the sequel trilogy. We've got this ugly Ray, funky looking Ray. The only reason why I got that Ray was for that BB-8 right there. And that's the Bandai Model Kit BB-8 that I still have to do a wash on. Yeah, that's the only reason why I got that Ray was for that. Uh, but we got some troopers. The troopers do look cool. Another Ray. DJ was free. Uh, General Leia was a gift. That Poe was a $5 Ollie's find. Zori Bliss. Fun figure. Pointless character, but very fun figure. That's a nice looking Ray. And then more troopers. You know, jet troopers. And then Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. So that rounds out the bottom shelf. And that is the end of the collection. And as you all know, the Book of Boba Fett line is starting to grow. And I'm sure we'll get figures from Season 3 of The Mandalorian. And I'm quite certain we'll get some figures from Ahsoka. So I may wind up moving all the sequel trilogy figures to here. So this is just a little stand where I have my tower, my printer, some books, my Dr. Afra comic set, some 5-inch figures, and a small gathering of old Power of the Force figures there. So I may wind up putting sequel trilogy here to free up the bottom of the other shelf for, just like I mentioned, Book of Boba, Season 3 Mando, and Ahsoka. And since this is a collection video, I thought I would show you what I do with all the boxes. So in here in the loud room, I have a couple of bookshelves here. So this one has got the galaxy packaging going from Phantom Menace all the way down to A New Hope in chronological order. I have Empire, Jedi, Mando, and Book of Boba in the other room. And on this other shelf, I have some cards up top. I have, I have the box for the uh, Cantina Showdown in the back there. And then red and black boxes in chronological order. Some exclusives. I have the probe droid box right up front facing out since that was my very first one. And the comic line down there at the bottom. And to the right of this bookshelf, I have my little review spot. And I've got some cards hanging here. So I have the Clone Wars Target Wave, the credit collection cards that I have. And then here on the desk, I have my third Han Solo from A New Hope. If you've seen some of my past videos, you know why I have three. So I just left him on the card. There's Ahsoka and Fennec uh, TBC. I won those from out of the basement. Thanks, guys, once again. I appreciate it. And Barris Offy there. And this car was a gift. I know this is not Star Wars related, but this car was a gift. And if you're watching, thanks so much again. I had an 86 Firebird growing up, so this car brings back some fond memories. And if I walk in this next room, so this is just a storage room, but I have the 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back cards hanging on either side of this door. I've got the two 40th of Jedi figures cards there. I have all of my archive cards hanging on this wall along with the two Walmart exclusives that I have, the Arc Trooper and Mace. And if I pan back, I have these cards there. The Power of the Force, the two episode one, and George front and center. All right, so that is it. I don't want to draw this out any longer. I know these videos are kind of long, but if you stuck with me this long, thank you so much. And thanks again, everyone, for the support. It has been a fun three years. I appreciate each and every one of you. Such a fun community, and I think I'll just end the video here. So if you enjoy videos on Star Wars The Black Series, smack like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I would certainly appreciate it, and I just thank you all so much for checking out this video, and we'll see you guys on the next one.